Call the meeting to order. We have a quorum. I'm not sure whether Brenna's coming or not. I haven't talked to her ahead of time, so. Um, but we're on our regular date, so. Uh, I have some bills here. Um, the superintendent's pay. The We have some uh, bills for items that we use are used by highway, uh, by highway to fix the mowers and repair things and keep them working. And um, a bill from Roger e. Wheeler and Sons uh, on a burial. So I will, uh, I will sign that and I'll have to, if Brenna doesn't come, I will get a signature from her later so we can pay it. Okay. Um, can you take some notes? I need a piece yeah. of paper. Um, I'll, give, I'll give you a piece of paper off of this pile because it's enough paper. Well, you've got yours too. That was in the printer. Oh, yeah, that's mine. That's mine. Oh, that was still in that machine? Yep. Wow. <laughs> Weeks ago. Nobody else has used it. Well, probably nobody uses it like I do, a small bill. No. That's the request form, and that's the supplemental request form. And yeah, there's other things too. There's that's enough. On. The, uh, I know. What we had for money so far as of November 7th yeah. in our thing. <coughs> I'm, in, I'm in the moderator's part. Oh, okay. But I was just going to pull one of these blanks out if you want it to write on. Because um, it's something I won't use. Um, we have to do uh, budget. the budget today. Yes. Because it's got to be done for the 31st, 30th. 30th of this month. Um, do we have anything for other reports or business that we have to deal with? Um, I got those. I haven't heard back on the estimates I got from the high, uh, for the paving. I haven't heard anything back yes. yet. Yes. I've got to and hopefully this progress. <clears throat> so that's more. I know it, nothing's been done because mm -hmm. I was in there yesterday, and but I don't know <clears throat> if they'll be doing any because of the weather. When the weather changes. Well, yeah, yeah, you just don't, don't know. know. <laughs> and we're in a situation where they're really down at the end for being able to get the material. So November. So, if not, it's taught till it's in the spring, but hopefully it'll get done. Um, <clears throat> I don't think I've got anything new. I'm going to um, talk to Fred about doing some more stuff up the north cemetery. Some what? More stuff. Oh yeah, on trees and stuff up there, and brush yes. on the edge of that field. They cut to push it back a little bit more, and <coughs> cleaning that up. Clean more, clean more of that up up there, which I'm sure. Well, I still would like to see some trees done in South Berlin. Well, and that's the another thing I will be. And I winter, if they've got any time, when they're not tied up with other things in the winter, maybe they could get down there. Now the bucket truck is in place and in use. And in use. Oh, they, have they been out using it? Yep. Okay. Um, I saw them at the town hall and um, Jim was there doing uh, the eaves trough and stuff on the south side of the town hall with it. Oh, cleaning the gutters out? No, it was hanging off in one, oh, right. one area there and he was working on that and but it's it's they're using it now and it's going and I guess everything's fine as far as I know we're good finally because that's that took a while um well I no fault of this it just no. had to have some things done before it could be used um but I'm hopeful that that's going to mean that they could do a few of the things that we've talked about in the tree business. <coughs> um, 
I have not talked to the people by the burying ground. I got still got to deal with that. Um, <clears throat> uh, I don't think I've got much else to talk about. Somebody called me up to ask about lots, and I don't remember. I don't know if I even knew who it was. I told them what we had. And for North, or just in general. Yeah. Well, they wanted to know about South, and I told them it's very, very limited couple of possibilities. That's all, unless they wanted to do ashes only. And um, North, uh, I said, you know, I said we got room there, and so they were going to talk about it. I didn't even. It, it was one of those calls that came when I was kind of busy and they weren't ready to talk seriously or saying I'd like to go Definite, look. Definitely, yeah. So I said fine. And um, and um, I didn't, I neither felt I needed to deal with them or send them to you yet because I, they hadn't, just, you know, they were just talking. Um, but I told them the prices and that stuff. So that is. Um, I had a call from Tommy Como because for Louise Jan is planning all her stuff, and I told her, I told him she could have a stone on her grave because that's a separate grave from her. Yeah, parents. it's and a I single grave. Single grave, and I told. Yeah. It was because she questioned that, and so I told yeah. Tom that that was. Ex that fine, she could put her, her own stone on her own grave. Yeah. Explained it to him, and he says, okay. <clears throat> um, yeah, I don't have, uh, I don't have much else. So I'm going to suggest we go on and work on the budget. Okay. Because that's what needs to be done, and um, it's got to be done this month, so. This is our meeting now, and unless we, if something else comes up, I'll. Somewhere in my pile here, I've got a couple of previous year's budgets, so I'm going to look for those. Like this? No, I'm looking for the ones that we submitted. Uh, that that's all right. That, yeah, I know. I'm that's the list of what away. we spent, right? Yeah. Is yep. this for the current year, or is that the previous fiscal year? Well, this is seven twenty-one to six thirty twenty-two. That's that one. This one here, and then there's one for this year where we spent so far as of um, November seventh. Okay. All right. What's that? Well, our, the way that I usually like to keep this stuff, I haven't been doing because I had <coughs> of some of the difficulties I've had understanding how some other things have gone. So, um, yeah, I have. A I don't have a breakdown of my own. What's that one? That's the. Oh, new, that's their that's sample. The new one. Well, this is the one we submitted last year. Yeah, and this is the one for this year. So. This is the new one to submit right here. Yes, but that's that's not ours. Well, I have one here. So that's just a sample of what yeah. other people, what people, how people might make out a budget. Yes, yeah, that's, that's what one. we're going to write on. It's one of those. And yeah, I got a pile here. But this is the, this is what we actually submitted last year. Um, now. Contracted services are going to go up. Um, oh yeah, that's right, because he in had an increase. I'll have to do talk to Brenna um, about the uh, pay for the superintendent. Uh -huh. But if they have a they have a percentage raise, and I would like to try to do something that's in the realm of their percentage raise. But I'd like to keep the numbers round. <laughs> yeah, that's all. I can't even comment on it. And um, <clears throat> but I'll have to talk to her about that. We'll have to have a special meeting if she don't come. Um, uh, 
Have you got your number and her phone, uh, her number and your phone now? I think I gave it to you to do that with. <coughs> I don't have it in mine, and my phone is dead, so it needs to be pl needs to be charged. New text message. Who's this from? Call. Yeah, give her a call. Just see if she's around. See if she if she can come. Cause we really, I really kind of need her to do a couple of these things. Yeah. Um, Hi, Brenda, how are you? She's on her way. Good. Well, she's in Northboro, but she'll be here. Yeah, but she'll come. Um, we can be working on this in the meantime. And uh, I, um, we also need to adjust contractor services for uh, the increased grave digging yep. cost, and that's a twenty-five percent increase. Yes, it is. So, um, I guess I need to know the portions of the 8428 that we've used um, as to how much of it is is uh, superintendent and how much of it is uh, Wheeler. Well, mine would be... It's... Um, That's what mine. That's what I come because it's 458. Yeah. Times 12, and that's what it comes out to is 54.96. Yeah. And, and then we have the burial costs, which are come from two different sources, but we. Um, and this is 84.28. Two, three, this is going to be thirteen, nine, two. So we got two thousand nine hundred and thirty two dollars as burial cost. Um, and if we factor that, uh, times I'm going to say times 1.3 is um, 6, 9, 7, 2, no, no, wait a 
wait a minute. Three, six, nine, seven, two, six, eight, and then two, nine, three, two, six, eleven, eleven, eighteen. is 3811.6 and if we add that to <coughs> the 5496 well the 5496 what does it say about pay Payroll instructions. See, right here is something. Payroll, two and a half percent increase over fiscal year twenty three budget. And ex expenses is two and a half. Yep. Two and a half percent over. Uh, times five two. $27.48. Oh, I haven't, I don't know what I'm doing here. Zero three, nine five forty five forty eight. Five four is a twenty four. Five five is twenty five twenty seven. Okay, then we have twelve. Eighteen nineteen. Eight nine. And ten. Ten, fourteen, seventeen, three, one, one, two, three. One hundred and thirty dollars, thirty-seven dollars and forty cents. And.
I don't know. I got to read that again. What does it say about pay? Okay, so we got a, a two and a half percent raise for town employees. If I apply the two and a half percent raise to the fifty four ninety six and add the difference on, it becomes five fifty six thirty three, an increase of one hundred and thirty seven dollars and forty cents. So five six three three and forty cents. So I'm gonna. Um, Round off to forty cents. Forget about that. So we get fifty six thirty three is that number, and <clears throat> I took the twenty nine thirty two that we had for the other contracted services, multiplied it times one point three, which is saying one and a third times what we had before, and that gave me thirty eight eleven sixty. So, thirty eight eleven sixty. If I add those together, and now my sixty cents and forty cents are leaving it out, <laughs> I'll leave the forty cents in there. Four, four, fourteen, nine. I've got nine thousand four hundred forty four dollars. Um, so my suggestion is that our contracted services line be ninety four forty four, and we will discuss that more when Brenna gets here. The telephone number we have in there is seven forty from fiscal twenty two, but that was figured based on our previous superintendent's phone. We reduced it for this year, but we haven't spent it. Um, we might, we might be able to deal with that. I think I'll leave it the way it was, but I will see. Other services, four hundred and eighty dollars, and I think that's just a plug number. Gasoline uh, was four hundred and twenty-two six fifty, and we put in for six fifty <coughs> this year because of the rise in gas prices. Yes, and you and um, I don't know what the numbers are right here. Okay, <coughs> what do you I got? got? This is uh, two. Two ninety five eighty. There's two things in here from Wex Bank. One for two seventy seven seventy nine and one for eighteen oh one. So that's two ninety five eighty. So that we've spent since July to now. Since July to now. Yeah. Which is probably about all of it for this season. Yeah. But that doesn't count. Yeah, you got the heaviest that doesn't pot count of mowing the from and the May, dry. the spring stuff. Yeah. And um, well, we do have those numbers someplace, but I don't know where. What's that? You know, we got papers yeah. like this that have it. Here's the 139.28. When's that from? 28 November. 21. 21. That's last year. Yeah, I have. Well, it's right here. It shows you. Right here on the ledger, there's wax and wax. That's that's the gasoline right there. Mm -hmm. And then uh, 
the other one. Is that last year's? Oh, okay. <coughs> yep. Okay. This one would be look in April and go on from April, roughly April on. Well, this would this is the whole year. Starts in July. Well, yeah, but I want you to start. I'm going to look. Yeah, okay. Bank. That was uh, six ten. That was one eighty seven oh nine. Mm hmm. And that's June two eighty three ninety nine. Ninety nine. Yeah. Mm hmm. And that's the two things for the whole till till end of June. That gets us through the end of June. Yes. So if we add those to the two ninety five, six. 13, 16, 10, 18, 26, <clears throat> 7, is 766.88. Okay. Oh, that's well in excess of the 650 we asked for last year, so we really need to bring it up to. Um, what the price of gas is, or what it could potentially be. Well, I don't know if I can talk too much about that because it's fluctuating right now. Yeah, but it's been goes <clears throat> up and down a bit, and I, I I I tend to say that what we actually spent this year isn't bad because it was pretty high. Gas was very high. It's some point. But you're mostly using diesel fuel and diesel fuel down there is five seventy nine. Yeah. Not three nine seventy nine. It's five five seventy nine I went by when I looked yesterday. Well at seven sixty six my answer is we should put eight hundred here. At least eight hundred. I'd say we should put eight hundred there. Uh, budget for 800. Um, That's not much. It's only a thirty-five dollar income. Maybe we better make it eight fifty. <coughs> you better go eight fifty, huh? I'm so Hi there. Sorry. I am so sorry. That's all right. Yeah, sure. Um, we're, we're we last week. We're fuzzling last with the with the uh, budget. Okay. Because we have to have that in for the end of the month. So. I'm. Gonna today is the day we've got to do the budget. That's I'm all. gonna fuzzle with seeing if I can manipulate the calendar so that I can be here. When I'm supposed oh. to be here. Um, Which really annoys me. Weather advisory for South Berlin. That's interesting. Today's Tuesday.
<coughs> okay, so on How can that be only that? Oh. Um So have you opened the meeting? Oh yeah, we opened it before. <clears throat> I opened it because I had a quorum, so we discussed nothing. So <laughs> just so about nothing. Meeting yeah. opened at say three ten, three fifteen. Three ten. Three ten. Meeting opened. With two present. And then you just fill in that you came in late after. I have a few things. Present. Did you read the minutes? Uh, no. I, a, I wrote a few things down. Those there. are the things he wrote down that we. Okay. I, I signed this, and where's that? Here it is. Here it is. Here's the bill. Well, you can sign that if you would. I That's see. the bills for the month. It's uh, the superintendent and the the grave, uh, grave digging and Harvard Power. Did you, did your bill have your the burial on it? The the full one, yeah. Okay, that was on your bill. Yeah. Okay. And then we've got then these two things are are supplies that Highway bought for the mowers and stuff. Right. So if you'd sign that, I should be on my on hmm? my I, the sheets there. My sheet yeah. is there. Okay. Thank you. All right. So oh, yeah. Yeah. let me tell you what I did to because I have been racking my brain about how to use the calendar to remember to yes. at least yes. you know we've had a couple of things where you didn't you didn't, you didn't get in touch with yeah. the system soon enough so you couldn't schedule it and all yeah. that 
So I just put in on the 13th of this month, which will carry over, Verify Cemetery Meeting third Tuesday, yeah. which will come up every 13th. Yeah, oh, every 13th. Every 13th now. So that will put us on the 13th of December, which happens to be the second Tuesday. No. So I can That's verify with you that the meeting will be the 20th. Yeah. And then if I go to January, um, the 13th falls on uh, days before the yeah. The, the verify you can so, do that. So, so that's how I the verify will work. It, it it has yes, to be. Yes, uh, could not figure out how to. Yeah. The earliest it can be is the fifteenth. It's be it's the fifteenth to the twenty first. It's the it's the it's the Tuesday that falls in that range. Right. The fifteenth to twenty first. Right. So, so making my yeah. verification yeah. notice two days that before reminds, the fifteenth. That's right. Will cause me to pick up the phone and or ask. Make sure it's right. Yep. Right, or or at least or, just or go even look, look at, at the calendar, calendar and say, right. "Oh, Precisely. that'll be then." <laughs> Precisely. There you go. That sounds good. Yeah. Uh, okay, Sorry. I've been working on the budget. Uh, yeah. We've been working on the budget a little bit about some things and figuring out this and that. Um, Bob, you want to take a few minutes out so we yes, can talk about pay? I want to recuse myself. Yes, you're going to while. recuse yourself for this one. Well, yes. while you're recused, step into the stairwell and look at the case that I've been working, working on. A case, good. Yeah, this one, this yeah, stairwell. Don't, yeah. Peek yeah. at it. Um, uh, the town has decided that we will have a two and a half percent raise um, for town employees and and. Uh, in the um, and the personnel committee recommended that. Okay. And we have a, a two and a half percent increase for expenses allowed in the budget proposals. Okay. So I figured the I figured two things out. One so is we two point raise for expenses for his position or for everything? For everything. Percent um, increase for all expenses. Expenses. Okay, go ahead. Now, now out. they normally divide things up between uh, payroll and expenses because we ha because the superintendent is a contract employee. He comes under the expense budget rather than the right. other. Right. But I'm applying the two and a half percent to that. Now we don't. We have to decide that as to whether that's the raise we want to give. But I, um, one of the things we had with our previous superintendent is he refused raises for some time because right. of his own personal situation. Right, his own probably. Tax and I mean, for like 15 years. Yeah, I know. And uh, so I want us to keep up with that, or at least I'd like us to. I'd like to suggest that, if you're agreeable. That suggest we, that we what? We give the two and a half percent increase to the superintendent. So this money goes here. No, so it's no, no. So no. it's so this increase for expenses goes to the superintendent. No, no. Don't put those together yet. Okay. Don't put those together yet. Because this is a percent, not a figure. Yeah. Okay. And I want to do this into figures, and then I'll we'll make sure we come down to the same, the total. It's that. Gotcha. 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 Okay. Um, so yes, I am. I am on board with this. Yes. Absolutely. Now, uh, the other thing is we had the increase in the in the burials number. Right. Because which we did, which we approved last summer, right. and that was essentially one and a third. Of what it had been, going from 300 to 400. Right. So, right. and that again hadn't increased for some some years. Right. So, um, I applied the one and a third figure to that. Um, to the all right, I took the amount that we pay the superintendent, which we had the total number of that for what it was. I subtracted that from the total amount that we have under contracted services here, and I got 2932. So that's to cover the other contracted stuff, which is mostly uh, the burials with Wheeler. 
and I multiplied that times 1.3 and got um, 38.11.60. Okay, just say that whole thing again for me because I was still stuck on the... Yes, I understand that. Okay, go ahead. That's all right. I took the the I started with the see the contracted services is one line on the budget right so both right. Wheeler and the superintendent are in that line are in the same so that's two people got you got so you, got I you, had to you. break that up first okay. Okay. so I took what I knew we were paying the superintendent and you can and, and Subtracted it out of this right. total and got the twenty nine thirty two. So that's the amount that we had budgeted for wheeler services. Right. And perhaps a few other minor things, but mainly right. that. Multiply that times one point three because we know that's been increased that much. And came up with thirty eight eleven sixty. One point three is one and a third. Are you going from? I, I, I thought that, but. The that this was on the income line, not on the expense line, though. No, it's, a, it's so expense. It's, a, it's what we pay them to dig the graves. I, I see that, but I but I thought that the increase, I thought there was a difference between the, the expense side and the in, I thought we were taking in, uh, you know, maybe they we're taking in 1.3 and we're shelling out 1.2. I don't, I, I, well, was, the point I thought it was a different figure. Go ahead. The money that we take in yeah. goes in an account right. for the cemetery right. to be appropriated in a future in, year. Which, okay. It doesn't come in and rotate in the same year. Okay. Um, eccentricities of state finance. Uh, you take in the money this year, and then next year you appropriate some of the, that money to pay expenses for the following year. Gotcha. Okay, and so now that makes more so, sense. So income doesn't figure in this at all right now, in this discussion. This is only the outgo that we're talking about. But the 1.3 number actually represents the increase in income. No, no. it represents okay. the increase okay. of expense. I gotcha, gotcha. Okay, sorry. Remember? Because there was an increase of expense. Right. There. Yeah. Because we yeah. did the one, then, yeah. then we're going to get, yeah. Yeah, we yeah. did increase the income too because of that. But it's not that 1.3 figure; it's some other number. It's 1.4. Yes, that's no, no. It's actually going to be somewhat less, but yeah, it, it, it's a it's a different amount. But we increased it 100 dollars. The price of the gra of the digging a grave 100 to cover the 100 dollars increase in this. Okay. Um, the so I now right. have. So this, here you are with this figure. Which I multiplied that by the one, the previous year's number, right? By one point three, and I got thirty-eight eleven sixty. So that's that comes over here. I took the fifty-four ninety-six that we were paying the superintendent, multiplied that by the uh, two and a half percent, and I got a hundred and thirty-seven dollars and forty cents, and then I'm. Added the hundred thirty-seven forty to the fifty-four ninety-six, and I get fifty-six thirty-three forty. Okay. And that comes down here. So I take this number and, and number. this number and yeah. add them together, and I get ninety-four forty-four. Okay. As a contracted services number to go on the budget. Gotcha. Gotcha. And what we've done is we've done the increase based on the increase in cost that we approved last summer. Right. And the increase. two and a half percent increase in, in pay in for the right. for an employee. Right. And I came up with ninety four forty four right. uh, as the number. So that goes into the budget on this line. So you wouldn't round it up to ninety five? Nope. I mean you could but I'm trying to stick with these things based on so that you what we were doing. Your steps yeah, or? yeah. When we get you on go this through this process again and come up with the same number and go, this is where I got that number. And then yeah, we, this is where I got that number. Okay. Now the, if I'm asked to explain it, that's 
we went used your thing right. and this right. and we used our expense right. and this and we right. got that right so the 9444 yeah is next year's budget for contracted services yeah that's the number for contracted right. services now the last year we had 660 for telephone um i think i'm just going to leave that number the same we uh we haven't been paying it but if we can ever get the thing all straightened out so we can we will be paying a number like that yeah but until that's happened i'm not going to change it at least i right don't think don't i want to change with it, it later deal with it when this out other services number is sort of a what's left number to fudge the totals and i i it's not a fudge it, it, there are other things that happen of course and that we pay for of course and this is how much we're reserving for that of course we don't really know what that will that number would be so right. we just we just plug it in it's not a 480 dollars is not a large figure in in these budgets so how often in the last five years have you had to scramble because there wasn't enough other services money in uh, in that line item to cover something once i think once that we ran over the over the budget and that was burials as much as anything it usually and it usually is if if it happens a given year that you, you know you're always estimating this is a basis of the number of burials you've number had in of the people past. that pass away and and the months. number that are full burials because right. the full burials right. is a big expense right so um it, there's no way to estimate that no. Other than by previous experience, and if in one year you have more folds and less, got it. Less the others. And where does the 480 come from? As far as how did you arrive at that? Is that just a percentage of? It's just a number. It's just a number. It's just a number. Okay. There's another one down here that's just a number. Okay. And when you get done figuring everything out and you know what you want to come up with at the end, you. That's those are numbers that are other expenses. There, it's a miscellaneous line. Right. And usually, when we come to the end of the year, we'll have a couple of thousand dollars. That if we've got, you know, tree trimming, or sure, one of those kinds of repair sure. kind of things we want to do, we can do that in the month of June if we get all our bills in in right. May. Um. Or suppose we wanted to repair headstones and it, we needed it, some epoxy, it, it, or it, yeah. you know, we were going to clean marble. And sometimes we, we hire Paul to come and spend a half a day picking up stones and you know using the machines to pick up a stone that needs to be moved and fixed and stuff. You know. Yeah. Let's get Bobby back in because we've already, if we've agreed on the ninety four forty four, um, I move that we do that and. Um, uh, all those in favor of 9444 for the contracted services figure say aye. 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 So that's two in favor and zero opposed for 9444 as our contracted services figure. And now I can ask Bobby back in so we can finish the rest of it. I'm high maintenance. I have to have everything explained. So. No, well. This is her first year doing this. This is true. And no that's part of the reason I'm taking the time, you know, we're going no, through I that really that way. I appreciate it. And uh, not that we don't always have to make sure we all understand it, but um, the other thing that we've done is Bobby and I l just looked at actual expenditures for gas. Actually, not gas, but diesel fuel for the mowers and stuff. Right. And uh, we just looked at that. Our figure in the current year's budget was 650. Right. We actually spent in this past growing season. Yeah. Uh, the the last couple of months of last right. fiscal year and up through this time, 766 dollars and 88 cents. Oh my goodness! Hi, well. We know what gas right, costs. Right, 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 right. Yeah, so we have suggested putting in a figure of eight fifty for next year. Yeah. If there's any more 
right. inflation and cost of gas or something, it's got to be that kind of a number. Well, it's, right. And it's diesel fuel and diesel. You know, gasoline is down there is three seventy nine, and diesel is five seventy nine. Yeah, yeah. I diesel mean, it is runs much higher, more efficient, but still. Yeah. Who knows what's going to um, for price? So we have estimated eight fifty for that line, based on the fact that we've spent over seven fifty this year. It's terrible. So that's what we and I mean we're talking about what we're going to spend from July of 2023 to June of 2024. Right. So we've built in some possibility for more inflation there. I hope it doesn't inflate that much, but how do you know? Yeah, good luck heating your house. Good luck heating your house is exactly the problem. I've just been watching what it's cost for the last couple of tanks of oil we bought. I don't know how we're going to get through this winter. Well, you're not alone. No, I understand that. Um, well, the racetrack may have to get less money this year or something. Wow. <laughs> um, wow. <laughs> um, the racetrack. No, no, that doesn't go in there. <laughs> <coughs> that's that, that that's, <laughs> that's 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 a personal kind of, finance. That's a little private about. joke. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, the uh, first uh, now we've got a figure. We, we've also got figures for other supplies here and for other expenses at the bottom, which are sort of miscellaneous figures. Uh, the And those depend, I mean, again, on what comes up during the year. Right. And we've had a plug number of 5,000 for the other supplies and for 450 for the other. Now, I've taken the bottom line number of 15,668 um, and done the 2.5% increase for it which is $391.70. So I've got $391 added to the 15668 to get 16.059 as the bottom line number. 160 16.0 what? 0.59. That would be the bottom line for next year. The whole budget. Be sixteen. I'm sorry, sixteen oh fifty nine. Sixteen oh fifty fiscal. Sixteen oh fifty nine. Now, if we take ninety four forty four and six sixty and eight fifty, four fifteen. 19 that's 10,954 and that's not right Barry, you need to do this right, and doing it right means that when you're subtracting, you subtract instead of adding. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh yeah. That was a look. Can that'll I just, look different. Can I just ask about? You certainly not, may. No, I'm asking the gentleman to your right. Barry had call about what for buying graves? About somebody wanting to buy a grave. Oh. Inquiries. Inquiry. An inquiry. Oh. Okay. Inquiry. I, I, they didn't even. I didn't even jot down who called or anything because it was, they weren't at a point where they wanted to go look or something like that. They just wanted numbers, so I told them how much it would cost and roughly where we had grades got available. Got it, got it, got it. Um, no, and, no. And this is regarding trees that were cut? No. No, more to be cut. At North, 
at north yeah. and then and then trees to, for the to itself. Be, yeah. itself. Yeah. I did see them over there one time about a month ago. They might have been cutting something. Did they cut anything over at south? I know what they were doing. They cleaned up some brush. They cleaned the brush up. At south? Yeah, and then there was that one piece of birch in the wall. They cut that down. Oh. Ah. Yeah. So they did a little. Yeah, nothing. Um, okay. That leaves us with five thousand one hundred and five dollars. To go in other services line, other supply line, and other expenses line. Now the other supplies line we've had at five thousand. Obviously, we're not going to have it at that this year. Um, I would, um, <clears throat> I'm going to make a suggestion that we, the other services line, which we've had at 480 for multiple years, I don't know just how long, um, I'd suggest we make that a thousand because we almost always are doing something where we hire, you know, tree work or something like that. Yeah. That, that we, we need some money there for. And, um, the other expenses has been at 450. Which one? Down here. Bottom. Mm -hmm. um, I see. Yeah. It doesn't. It certainly makes sense to me. It's, labor yeah. costs money. Yes, you know, it does. As soon as you get somebody, I it mean, thousand dollars goes away really fast. Oh, really fast if you hire any services done. Especially really, really now. fast. Yeah. And um, the other expenses line, which has been f was six twenty in uh, twenty twenty two and four fifty in twenty twenty three. Um, I don't know. Four fifty is actually not a bad line, bad figure for that line. Um, so, which one were you talking about making to a thousand? Uh, other services oh, that up one. here. That one up there. That four eighty. Yeah. Make that a thousand. Suggestion. Other services. And a thousand. Leave the four fifty down under other expenses. Other expenses. Why do I have a feeling that? That the the memorials restorations is gonna cost more than that. Well, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna talk about that in a second. That's one of the things I've still got in my head to so, talk about. So so it's 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 as is right now at four fifty. But you you could, we could easily add fifty no, bucks. No. <laughs> Uh, yeah. I would oh. say that's in this five thousand. Oh, that's in the that's other in that, that oh, 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 other in other supplies. So that's other supplies. supplies. Okay. So all so right. we're still all going right. to have all a big right. number there, a bigger all right. number. So there. that's that's for yeah. Okay. So we got the thousand plus the four fifty. Other supplies is. And so I want to take the fifty. And this one stays at four eighty minus one fifty. Four, five, oh. So we have five. We have five. We have six, four, three, thirty six, yeah. fifty five. 
So if I do those subtractions, we'd end up with 36.55 under other supplies. I don't know what you just did, but that's okay. We're filming. I will. I will say it. No, when you that. get there, you'll explain. It. 36.55. Oh, God, I can't get rid of the chill. And the Burr. 51.05. There. Okay. <clears throat> now, your ledger from last spring, what did we pay for the plants? Northbrook Greenhouses. Yep. Northbrook Greenhouses. Something like six hundred and fifty dollars. Six eighteen seventy five. Six hundred and eighteen seventy five. We paid for the plant plants last spring. We so, think but those that are probably going to go up too. Hmm? I would think those. Oh are yeah, that'll go, go up because yeah. of, that'll go up because of the fuel. That'll go up, but I'm not worried mm -hmm. about it because, you know, we still got th three thousand dollars in the. Thirty-six fifty-five in that in the line for other supplies, yeah. and that's one of the things that'll come out of that thirty-six fifty-five is the plants for the spring. So you're okay with leaving that. Six eighteen seventy five for the plants. Well, I think it's in. It's mixed in there. Well, it's it's mixed in. It's thrown into this thirty six fifty five. That's in that. It's part of that. Oh 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 oh. But it's less than you know. It's six hundred dollars. We still got three thousand more in that account. So that's other supplies is actually five thousand. Other supplies. Yeah. Other supplies. Yes. The other supplies. Sorry, Where did I get it? Gotcha. So we got ninety four forty four for contracted services. Yeah. We got six hundred and sixty for telephone. We got a thousand for other services, which is more than we had before. But four hundred eighty dollars isn't going to buy any other services. So um, we got eight fifty for the gasoline line. We got thirty six fifty five for other supplies, and we got four hundred and fifty for other expenses down here. And that's supposed to come together in total to 5105. Now we'll find out if it does. Five, a nine. Every day. Ten, fifteen, twenty, five. Oh, burr. Six, twelve. I can't shake the Twenty, thirty. Last week was nice, wasn't it? Hmm? Sure was. I said I can't. I can't shake the chill today. <laughs> I'm yeah. such a wuss. It hasn't even started. 16.059. My sweater could be five Hey, it long. came out right. <laughs> Good. It Where came out I? right. This one, 16.059. Yeah. It came it out It did. Right. By golly. Why do I have that written there? Sixteen oh fifty nine. Let me just see what that number is. Where did I get that number? Sixteen oh fifty nine. 
just so I know what it is. Oh. Oh, okay. I was telling you, this is the, okay. That's right. Yeah. Yeah, 9444, 660, 1000, 850, 3655, 450 is 16059. And that's a 2.5% increase over last year's budget. And we have not asked for an increase. We did not ask for an increase last year. Are we level funded? That's and what we, they wanted. I, I don't. I don't think we've asked for an increase the last two years. Uh, uh, no, we didn't. We we had the change where highway, they took money out of our budget for highway to do but the even more. that year we had level funded. Hmm? We had level funded. And we had that. level funded before that, and so the fifteen six sixty eight was what was left after they took the money out to highway for for wages for people to mow, right. and. Um, so this year we're going to ask for the two and a half percent increase, and uh, both for the superintendent's pay and for the um, for the bottom line of the budget. Sounds good. Now, do you want me to put these line items in, or just the just the t just the conclusion? I would say what notes. we will do is fill it in. We'll make this form out and include a copy with the minutes. Could I make a couple of copies? One so for the minutes I don't and one. need to include this detail. This can be just discussion uh, thereof, discussion of yeah. the budget. Okay. Yeah, discussion of the budget, and yeah. then and then we'll have a copy of this with it as gotcha. what we determined it to be. All right. Should make a couple copies. Oh yeah, we'll make a couple copies. Um, uh, is there a motion for a bottom line budget of um, I 16059? You can vote on this because we've already voted on the part that involves you. Okay. We took a vote while you were out. Okay. I to uh, two to nothing to go with the 9444 figure, which covers both uh, uh, the contracted stuff to Wheeler and the and the. Uh, Superintendent. Okay. So we already voted that that before. Uh, is there a motion to do 16059? Yes, there is. Is there a second? Yes, there is. Anything aye. to be said on that? All those in favor say aye. 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 All in favor, we have a unanimous vote. So we have a budget of 16059, which is 2.5% increase, which is what was approved. Uh, from the board, uh, recommended from the select men and yep. finance committee, and we have uh, we did a two and a half percent increase uh, in the superintendent's pay based on the recommendations from them. Right, and we did a one third increase in the contracted services on graves because we had a one third increase in the cost. Right. After several years of having no change, we we got a substantial change there. So that's how uh, that's how we arrived at this budget, and we will prepare the final on this and uh, submit it to the uh, accountant. I don't know what I have to say. Oh, I will have to write some notes to go with it. But those notes are going to be just what we just said. Right. So when you give me hard copy yes that can be I will give you the note with it that can be uploaded but that can be uploaded separately from the minutes the minutes can go in and then that can go in as, as a, another as paper a, for this meeting yes as yeah. um, attending yeah. documentation yeah. or, or additional right. documentation it doesn't yeah. have to doesn't have yeah. to go in the same day it can yeah. Be, yeah. they can be entered separately yeah, yeah. so and um, so that takes care of the budget, I think. We have not put in anything for capital, and we're already past the date. Yeah. I would like to have, but bluntly, I have been so, 
embarrassed with the town that we haven't been able to get this stuff done that I'm just not comfortable doing it. What's I don't know about you. It's not uh, so If much. it means we wait another year, we wait another year. What's capital mean as far as the... The you want to do paving and stuff. The driveways, like that. the oh paving drive. Oh my God! Well, that's not on us. Hmm? That's not our fault. No, that's I know that, but I don't want to go ask the town for more when we, uh, God only knows whether they'll get it. They're supposed to get it done in the spring now, but, and we have reasonable thought that they're going to get the it's stuff in South Berlin done. Everybody's so been. So, but isn't doesn't the money <coughs> get returned after? Isn't the money returned to the town because we didn't use it? At the end of this fiscal year, we will have an amount that will run out. Yes. Right. So, if on the other hand, <coughs> we will also um, consider putting in a uh, an article in the Extension. town meeting warrant to extend that. Gotcha. Now, yeah. it, if it gotcha. turns out that it doesn't need to be voted, it won't have to be voted. Gotcha. But gotcha. We'll put in a warrant to extend that sunrise sunset date another year gotcha because we can't we don't know that well, now anyway so we can't we can't act on it the other thing so is that we have uh, the Highland Street paving project that the town is working on mm -hmm. and in connection with that we're having them do the apron at the front of the driveway yes at the North Cemetery right and so Which I any portion that's available of the money that's already been appropriated can go to that well, to pay for that. Hope they get it done. I, I hope will. they do. do and they, they have, have, again, they've been getting the stuff in line so that hopefully that job will be done in the spring. So the High, uh, Highland Street. They have the until the end of June to complete that and yep. the money is sitting there. Yeah. Yep. What is? What do you think is the possibility that they might piggyback the, the Pleasant Street South Street. I mean, Pleasant Street on there. I mean, is that is that remotely possible that that I think could it, fall to, I think fall it'll together? be in a different contract. Uh, Bob has talked to them about it, so they're going to probably go in because they're trying to pave on Jones Road and Brigham or Bailey down there, and that's was going to kind of be put. They would ask some of the people about. If they were down on Brigham, they would be interested in coming up to the cemetery because you're that close. There was prices gotten on that and then some Oh, I prices. see. So that'll be piggybacked on it with a different, I mean, it'll be in a contract that the town does right. for several different things. I see. And that one is also in progress. I, I mean, see. They're, yes, it is. I they're see. working I seriously see. on getting that. Well, the, you, you wait and wait and you play phone tag. So how does that help our You get to a certain point in the year, you don't want to pave We don't want the apron to get distorted by the paving of Pleasant Street. It doesn't help us really on that score. Um, I can live with it as long as I do it, but I'm just asking. <laughs> I don't know how they, it affects either. I mean, See, I Highland Street. Highland Street is a job that they're getting separate done, job. right? And we have included a bit at the apron at the front of the. And I understand because on that. that increases the longevity of oh, yeah. of the job. Oh yeah. So, but what we're saying about Brigham is they're going to hop over from Brigham and do the South other cemetery. South Cemetery. That the apron is not going to connect to Pleasant Street. It's two different jobs. Well, p first of all, South Berlin Cemetery. We've already done the part that goes out to the street on both sides. On both sides. Oh. Yeah. One of them, the the center drive, just goes up to the top of the hill. Gotcha. And the other one goes in and goes partway across and back. Right. And when finishing the rest of that cross drive. And the uh, rest of the center drive in this. Gotcha. Area. So, so it. Sorry for it, not having yeah, a visual no, memory no, of that. Yeah, no. no, we already did the part that's gotcha. out by Pleasant Street. Gotcha, yeah. gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, yeah. All right, I could stand down. Yep. <laughs> okay. So. Um, Thank you. So we have not put in a capital request there for this year, and the other piece of it is to put in a capital request, we need to prepare a real estimate for the North Cemetery Road. Okay. Because we were talking about doing it in, you know, a couple of pieces or something. And 
and uh, gotcha. Uh, you know, the capital development committees thing is, what's your total thing going to be? What's the total project, and how's it going to you know how's it all right. going to fit? So right. that our request is there, because we don't, we have not figured that whole project. Previously, we were just getting some money and spending it and doing it, and that was before the capital planning committee really got going. And we now that they've got the thing going, we've got to get to figure out that whole project. Right. You know, real estimates and get real estimates on it so before we put it in. Which and means we re we need real site numbers so that we have yeah, real absolutely. dimensions to give yeah. them to produce those numbers. Yeah, it's really not yeah. something we're going to get accomplished in a week. And no. and and we needed it uh, we need it needed to be in the beginning of this month. Sure. It's already late and with the difficulty we've had getting the whole things other things done, my thought is Hey, if we get as much done as is currently on the plate, I'll be happy, and we'll wait till next summer we can work on right. now, on getting this squared away so we can put it in the following. For the 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 uh, site work that Ross is doing, have they um, put any figures to paper on the road dimensions that we're talking about? I mean, it, it goes down and it makes the no, curve. They Oh, they were just focusing on. No, the they would. Uh, they were just focusing on the getting the rows laid out. Okay. The graves laid out. Do they have an? They had previously. Many They years had previously ago. made a plan of the cemetery, not cemetery. Uh, so but the way the rows site plan. laid out is not the way we want them laid out. Gotcha. So that's why we're doing this. But they had already provided. A strip for that road that was sufficient to what we've been planning. Can we um, can can we bring a copy of that site plan? You have it here. It's here. It's here. Sweet. It's here. Sweet. Oh, my stomach has been so messed up. I know how you feel. <clears throat> Believe me. Oh, it's awful. Stomach upset. I'm going to take a picture of it if he brings it out. <laughs> I think that the interface between mm. between digital technology and the real world should be a lot easier to come up with something. Well, there's so so if he's going to bring out some size of document. Yeah. Here's a document. So if I go here and I take a picture of it, right? Yeah. Oh, I can get it in the screen. I can get it in the screen. Yep. Pretty much. You know. Yep. But if I were to print this, you wouldn't really be able to see it. No, because that's why you, you know? have the big blueprint plans. Well, I mean, well, you sort of would, but still, it's like... That document was made on a computer. There's a digital file somewhere. And if you had the digital file, then you could zoom in. I'm aware, I'm aware of that, but, but the problem is that the, the interface, with the conversational interface, so, so what I'm trying... Exactly. But if I went and got the digital file onto my phone, and then I tried to print it, it's not going to print out on an eight and a half by eleven sheet of paper. It's going to print out on fourteen eight and a half. You know what I mean? It's not going to. It's going to come out. Me. Oh, look, here's this piece. Oh, it's t there's not a good interface. The way that they've. You mean to shrink it down and make it so you can there's see it? There's just there's not a. You know, there's not a user for it's. It's almost like the. Uh, how can I say this? Back when 
the technology first came on board, um, you could you could take an image like this, and it wouldn't be as clear, but you could manipulate it on your phone so that you, and well, I sort of can. So here it is here. Let me see. Let me try this again. I don't know. I just don't feel like Bill Gates and company has done us any favors. <laughs> so if I turn the phone so the map fits In the picture. In the picture. There, now. <laughs> All right, edit. Edit. So now Berlin fits much closer to an eight and a half by 11 sheet because it's the whole thing is on. Um, The problem is that if I rotate this, I know that there are two copy, two or three copies of that plan in that file. But you think I can find one now? No, of course not. But I will find one, and so that we'll have it for our next meeting. Um, I'm sorry. No, Such it's not a problem. It's just that I, ju I just. I know there are multiple copies somewhere there, and I just, right now, I just can't locate them. All um, right, so we'll, we'll, we should bring it to bear, because yeah. being able to look at the, you mm -hmm. know, the actual thing and say, okay, well, we, we need dimensions here, 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 and here, yeah. in order to have the information for these people that we, exactly. we, we need to do that. We need yes. to, yep. you know, and if it, if it means, uh, you know, taking a section of it and putting it on a, a 11 by 14 sheet of paper that we can all draw on, mm -hmm. we need to do that. We need to, we need to mm -hmm. do that. So yeah, yeah, and I'm we, all for it. We have talked also at length previously. Yeah. Uh, I mean, I'm talking about two or three years ago about having a double lane road going in. Right. Which can also be an out road. Right. We have and grass drives across between the rows and the right. cemetery and then we have a single, single lane, lane coming exit. out yeah. on the other side at right. some future time right and um, we've talked about that before and that's something that we need to have in the discussion while we're doing this because if we're talking to capital planning we need to be able to lay that out for them okay we want to do this and get this done the next two or three years and then uh, uh, you know down the road we want to start working on this other one right so um, but we need to get some sense of what that's all going to cost at some point and that means we need to have a meeting of minds about that so we're right, all we behind it. it yeah 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 and the longer yep. it takes to do it the more the cost goes up oh yeah the longer it takes right. the more cost it's going to uh, be but, but we're we're so far away from putting it out to bid that it almost doesn't matter because we, we have to get uh, yeah, oh yeah we oh, yes. we need to get our ducks in order first before we can ask people to price it our, our, our plan it's gonna cost us more our plan on this was if we have the double road going all the way in yeah that could suffice alone for a while for a while and the other part can be a future project um, so do you but so that the current project is to get the two lane road that goes in perhaps as far as our shed yeah well you shrink down to a single lane when you get further out because if you're going to go cut across you wouldn't yeah. necessarily go 16 feet to the shed yeah because it's pretty close to that wide now yeah but we need to be able to have it so people can drive in and somebody else can drive out at the same time uh, and and deal with the fact I mean we've had this long-term thing where when we have a funeral up there we park the cars on the on the front field right and now we're the front field is shrinking because we're doing burials in that out there right and so we need to be thinking about a better way to have things set for a longer term in the future mm -hmm. and that's why this two-way road has come in as a so that still doesn't solve the parking issue, though. If you've got two lanes, would you, would you have 
you don't have people, where did everybody park on one side? Well, everybody for the present. Pull in on, and no, park? For and the present, we can continue to use the front field that way. Right. Uh, uh, no, I understand, but I'm talking about... It, Further down the line. The planning for further down the line. Okay. If if you're going to make just a two lane, do you want to? You know, you're going to go to the shed. Do you want to make make a, a turnaround so that yep. people get down there and mm -hmm. then they can come back out? So you have everybody. Yep. Maybe everybody goes down and then comes mm -hmm. back in parks, facing out. You know, or something. I don't know. I mean, you, you're going to have two lanes. You're going to have people parking on one side and the method down the line is that they go in and they park in these drives that go across and they and would come, they out, the come out the other side that's the long-term thing just that. like they do itself yeah same idea you drive in one the end of the yeah. grass roads for a burial what and about at, <clears throat> at the present time we also have the whole back of the cemetery back behind the wall on the south side we have one row that we're using along the wall but that whole space is there too and that could be cleaned up and mowed so that it could be the parking space for a while on the south side at, oh, at north on the south side of the driveway at the back oh but to by the in ship. back of the front field okay because that's just space now we cut did we let somebody cut hay off it once or, once or twice a year, and that's how we used to. It. Right. So what about um, what about the idea of uh, putting in the two lanes to whatever point, and then setting a gravel bed for the rest, so that you, you all you'd have to do would be so thinking in terms of a two-phase project where materials are only going to go up in price mm -hmm. well which I, would which could then encourage people to you know pull into the sides and mm -hmm. exit out the one way mm -hmm. well, one of the things we had talked about was having a gravel drive or a paved drive behind the wall right that goes across to our out thing so that the, there's a main way you go in and across and out but then you've still got the grass drives as yeah. altern alternatives too. Sounds good. <coughs> so um, sounds good. But we'll uh, we'll get the uh, plan out. the The plan uh, Ross Associates has been very generous to cemeteries and done a lot of this kind of work. Cool. Gratis. Uh, David Ross was when right. David Ross was running the company. Right. And he is still willing to do a little of that for us. I know it's cool. Um, I think, just from from an aesthetic point of view, I think getting that two lane section done will improve the uh, presentation of that cemetery, cemetery immensely. Mm -hmm. Because right now it does sort of look. Let's say it's still very rural. <laughs> <laughs> That's, it's it's not so much that it's to me it looks like on the right side of the driveway looks planned and I mean it's rural it, yeah. on the right side is rural yeah. but the left side is still sort of where does the cemetery end yeah. it, it just sort of wanders off into the landscape which yeah. is which is not a good look for us it, yeah. it just well I that's mean, why it we doesn't look professional no no we've got five rows there that we're selling in now yes and well, as we get those more occupied it will yeah and then and then again they get better. stoned right yeah. that will really in increase will its it ability better. of you know being perceived as a real cemetery but driveways will help oh yeah driveways will help yeah. um I'm sorry, but I'm going to have to leave. You That's guys all are right. fine. That's all right, because we're about to adjourn anyway. Yes, we are. Um, and we've, we've whipped this one rather more than we planned to tonight, but we'll, we'll keep that on our agenda for, to discuss it if we need it tomorrow. Okay. Um, if there's nothing else, we will... Uh, Motion to adjourn. Second. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Here we are. Done.